Hi, my name is Jack. I'm an engineer at Variato, and I'd like to take you through a brief demonstration of Variato Ransom Safe. Variato Ransom Safe acts as a vital layer in your ransomware defense, combining just in time data protection with multiple mechanisms to detect and shut down attacks before they hold your business hostage. Ransom Safe installs on your Windows file server and it will, in real time, screen new files that are created and protect files that are modified or deleted. When a file is created or renamed on your file server, the name of the file is checked against an automatically updated list of file screening masks. If the file being created matches one of the included entries, the file creation operation is prevented and the user is automatically blocked and prevented from making any additional file system changes until they are unblocked by an administrator. If any of the included file screening masks match files that your users legitimately need to create, you can exclude any that you don't wish to check against. When an existing file is modified or deleted, it is first checked to see if the file in question is a honeypot file. If it is a honeypot file, then the operation is prevented and the user is blocked. If the file is not a honeypot file, then a copy of the file is made and securely stored in a safe location prior to the modification or the deletion being committed. This way, if the change to the file is malicious, you can easily restore it using RansomSafe. Honeypot files are automatically created by RansomSafe in multiple locations within the file shares on your server. These files are initially named randomly, but you are welcome to change the name of both the file and the folder to anything you'd like. The files are Word documents, and if opened, will have specific instructions indicating that they should not be modified or deleted. If there are any specific locations on your server where you would like to ensure that Honeypot files are created, you may also specify those locations. Let's switch over to my client computer. This folder contains several files that are critical to my organization. A moment ago, I specified that I wanted a Honeypot file in this folder, and I have viewing of hidden files and folders enabled so you can see it. I have a batch file on the desktop that is going to simulate a ransomware infection by changing the contents of my files and leaving an instruction file behind. As you can see, I now have several files that have a .blah extension. These are encrypted versions of the original files, and under normal circumstances, the originals would be gone. As the ransomware went through the folder encrypting files, it came across the honeypot file and attempted to encrypt that. At that moment, the ransomware was unable to continue. Because it tampered with the honeypot file, the user who was running the ransomware was immediately blocked from any further activities on this file server. That's why the rest of my files are unaffected. Just to show you that my user is now blocked, I will attempt to delete one of the files, which this user would normally be able to do. Let's switch back over to the RansomSafe console on my file server, where we can browse through the RansomSafe and locate the files that had been modified or deleted by the ransomware. We'll assume I've already cleaned up the ransomware on the client computer, and now it's safe for me to unblock the user, so let's do that first. Here are the files that were modified or deleted in that folder. Before I restore them, note that it shows the names of the original files, along with the number of versions of the file contained within RansomSafe, the date that they were modified or deleted, the size, the user who modified or deleted the file, the process, if available, the type of file, and the folder that the file was in. I can easily select all of these files, right-click, and select Restore Latest Version. I'm going to choose to restore them to their original location and click Yes. Switching back to my client computer, I see that the folder now contains the encrypted files, which can be deleted, and my original unencrypted files. Restoration was very simple. Keep in mind that even if the ransomware were to create files that don't match any of the file screening masks, or it modified 10 or 10,000 files before it touched a honeypot file, you'll still have safe, secure backups of your files taken immediately before the file modification stored in RansomSafe. Variato RansomSafe also gives you the ability to easily search for recoverable files. You can search based on file mask, date deleted, the size of the files, or the user who deleted the file. 
Let's say that we want to find all the files that were deleted by user B Spears in the last seven days. Search results appear, and just like we did before, we can select any or all of these files and quickly restore them. The last thing I'll touch on is space management for RansomSafe. These options can be configured independently for each volume on your file server. With these options, you can specify whether you want the files stored in RansomSafe to be kept on the local drive, which is the default setting, or stored on a separate drive. You can also limit the size of the RansomSafe. You can configure the size based on a percentage of the total drive capacity or a percentage of the drive's free space. And finally, there are options for configuring rules for file retention in the ransom safe. You can configure a maximum number of versions of a file to keep and also the maximum age for each file. Thank you for taking a few minutes to look at Variato Ransom Safe with me. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Variato anytime.